go. Great energy and action. I will tell you that I am Starfleet. I was going to be an admiral, but I didn't like the costume as well, and so I chose to get demoted <laughs> to, to become a captain. So, it's all about the outfit, what can I say? You are suggesting that we utilize the passage between the approaching structures. This ship will not fit. We'll fit. Captain, we will not fit. We'll fit. We'll fit. I sat in my scene next to Zach Quinto. Okay. And what a nice man yeah. Zach is. Really, really nice man. So what is a woman from Orono doing in the new Star Trek movie? Well, Rusty, that's a good question. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm a Midwestern suburban housewife, and how I got this part is still rather surprising. Well, I, I met JJ at a fundraiser. I didn't know who he was, and we began talking, and he told me that he was directing the 2009 Star Trek movie. And at that point, I said to him, are you kidding me? I, I am a Trekkie. God, that was awesome. You know what you would really love? To, to, um, to see the set. You've got to come out someday. I, I invite you, come out and see the set. And then shortly thereafter, we had a, a cancer diagnosis happen in our household, so that never happened. This is where Barrett's daughter, Marit, comes into the story. Well, my story is when, well, when I was in kindergarten, I wasn't feeling good. It was stage three metastatic brain cancer. I can't even articulate how awful it is. It's worse than a nightmare because you can wake up from a nightmare. They found help at the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. It's one of the best hospitals that I've ever been to. Fortunately, we had had a relationship with St. Jude because my husband worked for Target and they had already built two Target houses. Five years later, Marit's scans are looking good. Can you high five me on that one? <laughs> and action! And JJ, once again, is making a movie. And he said, Britt, you've got to come out this time. He stopped mid-sentence mid right then, and he said, wait a minute, would you ever want to be in the movie? We have to beam Spock back to this ship. You give me one way, we can do it. While I was filming, I had it in my mind that if there was any way I could use this generous gift that JJ gave to me by allowing me to be in this movie, that I would try to use this gift and pay it forward to try to help the kids of St. Jude. Is there anything you would not do? for your family.